Hey everybody, welcome back to Creekside Maples Homestead. I'm Tony. I'm Joni. And we're glad you're here with us today. So what are we doing? We're taking these logs that left up here when we come up and cut the wood for the uh, sugar shack and the evaporator. If you remember off that video, we left five logs up here and I found a guy that's gonna mill them for me, so now I'm trying to load them. That's what we're doing. Hang out with us today. It's supposed to be a pretty good day. Thanks for watching. Definitely not an easy job. I don't have a loader except for my hands, my arms. I wish I did. I wish I had a tractor. <laughs> that would come in handy. But we do what we have to do. I know one thing, the pine is a lot heavier than the spruce. I know they're heavy. That's for sure. They are heavy. If I can get this one up on the tailgate, that's that's the heaviest one of all. So I know if I can get this one on, <laughs> I got these two. But I know if I get that one on, mm -hmm. I can get the other two. What do you estimate this weighs? Oh, uh, three, four hundred pounds anyway. Oh, good Lord, Tony. Yeah, and it's soaking wet, so. That doesn't help. No, not at all. But you got your trusty pulp hook. Yeah, I got my, got my hook. Oh, Lordy. Oh yeah, now we're good. Okay. That tailgate can take that weight? So, I'll put my arm across there. You can see kind of how big that thing is. Whew. Okay. The old Chevy. That's three.
These are definitely. No fun. That's for sure. All right. Whew. Okay. Here we go. The old pole pole. One to go. Well, one and a half. I gotta put this up on there a little further. Okay. This will be a little tougher because I got to lift it up over the, the butt pieces I got there now. This one on there and we will have done well I think out of these uh, it's best just to make two by threes because we're building like chicken coops and you know goat a house for the goats and you know things like that mm -hmm. so we don't need you know two by fours because this is rough lumber so it's actually going to be two inches by three inches mm -hmm. so I think that that's perfectly fine so I think that's what we'll do with these. They're all over eight feet, and that'll give us a lot of studs to do up the walls and do everything that we need to do. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get the boards out of some other logs. Maybe we can get, uh, perhaps maybe my brother will bring his tractor up with his forks on and load the few logs we've got, and that will help us as well. But these are very heavy. So we're gonna try to get this last one on there, and then we're off to the sawmill where he does have a tractor, and he <laughs> will unload them. <laughs> oh, boy. It's harder when you're pushing up on it because the bark and the, everything catches it. Eh? Okay, let's see. There we go. Five logs on the back of the pickup truck. That's a workout for the morning right there. So that's good. The whole poke poke does there again. Move this bark out of the road. So there we go. Now we're going to take those right up to the sawmill. And uh, get them all sawed out here anyway, so that's good. On to the next stage of the game here. So this is Steve Trimper. I know Steve, well I've known Steve his whole life. And I know Steve because his mother and father have been the very best of friends to myself and my wife. Matter of fact, I remember Steve when he was just a wee lad and before that, I remember when his mama was pregnant with him. He now is married and 
has two little girls of his own. So he, his father told me that he had a sawmill. He's asking me right there um, if I want to keep the slab wood, and I told him that I wanted to uh, because we're going to use it as uh, wood for the evaporator. If not this year, we'll use it next year. It'll be nice and dry by then. But I had these five logs, and he said he would gladly mill them out for me. So that's what he's doing here right now. I love these bandsaw mills. Every homestead almost, well, we do. We need one. I know we do here. We have a lot of builds going on. We have to build our chicken coop bigger now that we have more chickens. We've got to build a small barn for our goats and other things that we're building as well. So these sawmills are so, so handy. And you can turn out a lot of wood very quickly. I know us, or with these five logs that we took to him, we were able to get a lot of studs and boards. You'll see at the end here when we're done milling how much wood we actually got. The reason I did the voiceover on this section is the, bill, uh, the bandsaw mill makes so much noise that we would be screaming at each other just to hear. So I figured it's much easier if I just narrated what we're doing here so everyone could hear and see without the roar of the mill in the background and all the noise that comes with it. But he's just taking the top off, the scalping the top of the log there right now and that'll just go into um, slab wood. He's getting ready now. He's setting his uh, depth gauge, the width of the board. All the boards that we're cutting are one inch and uh, they're six inches wide, some are eight. And then the studs that we're cutting are three by two. The difference between rough cut lumber and the lumber you would buy at the Let's say the warehouse store is that for instance a 2x6 at Home Depot or Lowe's will measure five and a half inches wide by an inch and a half thick. When you're dealing with rough lumber if it's a 2x6 it's a true 2x6. That thing will be two inches thick and six inches wide and that's the beauty of really using rough lumber is that you get that that full I guess we call it the thickness or the meat of the wood there. It makes it, you know, much um, sturdier, stronger. So he's just squaring the other, or scalping the other uh, side. He's got two sides done. And he's just setting the dogs now to hold the log in place. And here it comes. That makes a nice shot right there. You can see just how efficient that sawmill truly is. That is my dream and goal for our homestead, is to find the money, raise the money, do something to get a sawmill. It saves us so much money now because lumber is so expensive. You know, one two by six, 12 feet long is like 20 some dollars. A two by four, eight feet long is 11 or 12 dollars. I went and bought a few weeks ago, I had to have a pressure treated two by six, 12 feet long. It cost me, what was it, 42 dollars, I believe it was, for the pressure treated. You can't afford that. Now, see what he's doing here now. He split those, so that's an actual um, stud he's making. So now he'll split that right in two, and that will be an actual um, two by three. And that's what I'll use to build the chicken coop and the goat house and another small barn and the storage area. Um, because it's just, you know, it's a perfect size. Honestly, a two by three rough cut piece of lumber, you're only looking at a half an inch difference between a regular stud, two by four stud. And that there is how it works. There I am in the background there being silly. This is how Steve loads the lumber. He's got a nice little tractor there and uh, we just use the forks. And put the lumber on the, the log on the forks and 
Then he uh, brings it over and sets it on the mill. So there you got a good view there. There's two boards to the left and then two studs. And all that goes right on to the truck and we'll haul it home. I think what he's getting ready to do is just, you see the rough edge on one of those boards. Yeah, so he's edging that board and he'll take that rough edge right off. Now if we were going to just use these for signs and things, that rough edge is, is uh, really, really nice. He is splitting the two by threes. And there they are. And just like that you get four studs. So here he is now. This is how we loaded the logs on. And there's log stops there on the back of the frame right there. And that stops the logs from coming off the other side. Steve is a great guy. He's a good, quiet fellow, works hard. He operates heavy equipment, just like his dad did for many years. But he is so cordial and kind and to help us out. But there he is scalping the top. Now that's a pine log there. The other one was a spruce. This is a pine. And so we wanted to uh, make nice uh, boards out of the pine. So that's what we're going to do with those. He's coming, he's got one edge done there, and now he's scalping the other edge. He doesn't take much off of it, there's not much waste. So you can see now, here's a close up of the bandsaw, the blade, and it just cuts through that stuff just like butter. Hot knife through butter. Now I do have a planer, and so some of these boards I will put through the planer because I'm going to make some tables and different things. But it looks really sharp. It does a great job. Like I said, I'm very envious. Those blades are, he sharpens them right there on the farm, and they are sharpened to about 10 degrees. My wife's going to uh, talk to Cassie there a bit and take you on a little tour of what they have for farm animals here. So keep watching, and we'll come back to the milling in a bit. Perfect. All right, so Cassie, give me a tour. Well, before, we have to see this. <laughs> That's Ginger the goat. She has made herself a nice little spot right there. All righty. Yeah, so here we've got our pigs. We've got all our sows are in one section. All right. And these guys are our feeder pigs. So earlier they were having a time playing, and yes. now I guess it's nap time? Now it is nap. They sleep quite a bit. <laughs> they sleep quite a bit. So how, about how old are these? These ones are almost two. They were, oh, or still... no, I guess almost or a year old, I guess. Would that be considered quite young in pig years? Yeah, it would be young. <laughs> Normally most people would have them done already, but we, uh, we so let them grow big. These are going to freezer camp? They are. Yes. All, All right. right. There's the horse. And what kind are they again? Uh, Duroc, and these ones are Duroc Tamworth. Cross. I won't get too close. <laughs> Hi, biggies. Disturb. <laughs> so these all from the same litter? Um, are they? The spotted one was a different litter, and then these three are all from the same. And is this Mama over there? That is... A grandma? <laughs> that would be the grandma, actually. Oh, that's grandma. Yeah. I don't think she had a litter last And so year. you keep her separate? Yes. On purpose? Yes. Would she be too uh, mean? No, we just like to keep them all separate so we know where everyone's Who's at. Who? And they all have different types of feed, so we... Okay. That way we can keep track of feed and... All, all right. Yeah. Of course, and then we got the beautiful farm dogs. <laughs> all here. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> And here's their the pig barn that they built. They have 120 acres here. Yes. And I love this horse barn that they <laughs> did. Here. And here is our newest one, Pike. Hey, you. We've only been here for about a week. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful horse. 
-mm. And this one is not broke yet, right? Not broke yet, no. All righty. We've got Maple. She is broke. She's Maple. Our oldest daughter's horse. You've had her how long? Uh, we've had her oh, five years now. And your daughter rides her bareback. Bareback all the time. And how old's your daughter? Ten years old. Ten years old. <laughs> she's been riding her bareback since she's been about oh. five or six or before. She's braver than me. Or five, yeah, five. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> and then out here, we're way down. Oh yeah. Dragon. Two more out here. And you've had these two the longest? Yes. Okay. We've had Dragon's been here her whole life. <laughs> That's so funny. They <laughs> like to play with them. No, they like if they hear them go and they think they're the doing horses something don't wrong. Mind. No. Never ever been any no. incident. No, look at that. Dragon oh, they're so lady. pretty. Hey, you. So they've got their, their little creek flowing right through for yes. them. Fresh water. Can't beat that. Oh, they love it. Dogs go down and have a drink too. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You guys are pretty. They are. Okay, so what's better. next, Cassie, on the tour? Next. What do we, oh, the alpacas? Think, yeah, we can see the alpacas. They're okay. up in the field. <clears throat> we'll soon be getting ready to shear them. Well, I bet you that's interesting. Mm. Are they all usually cooperative? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we have a table that we have to put them on. Okay. So that we can, well, for one, it's up higher. Mm -hmm. All our alpacas are up here. Although you can see the males with the cows. We do have males in there. Definitely. And you have how many? Alpacas? Mm. I believe we have 20 right now. 20. Look at the dandelions growing <laughs> over know. here. Oh, going. That's Willie. That alpaca okay, there. Okay, so these are the males. Yeah, these are the males. So that's Willie. Woody's back there, <laughs> Red is over here, and that's Aladdin over there. So, is it true some of the stuff they're known for, like the spitting? These guys won't spit at you unless you're trying to, like if I was trying to halter them up so that I can take them to go get them shorn, then yeah, they'll start spitting at me. Or I've been in the crossfires of two uh -huh. spitting at each other. That's not fun. It is very disgusting. <laughs> Oh. It is one of the worst smells ever. I was going to say, like is, in, is there You instantly a smell? need to go in and shower. It's really? It's that gross, yeah. Right, and this is Diamond. Beautiful. Our heifer. Diamond. And that's Mossy. He's going to be our bull. Okay. And then Monty's up there. That's her son. We were hoping so she was pretty. bred this year, but she's not. So I'll have to get a couple more cows. Uh huh. Diamond. What kind is she? Ashire. Mm -hmm. Some future changes you'd like to see in the farm in the future is kind of maybe phase out of the alpacas and do more cows. Yes. Because you've is... decided. I... Alpacas, we'll keep some alpacas. But... Yep. Oh. They have the cutest little faces. They do. <laughs> but now when they're about to spit, do they give you a sign? Yeah, they'll curl their lip they'll back. Curl, and you'll just know. Yeah, and they'll kind of hawk it up into their mouth first before they <laughs> spit it out. So you'll know if they're getting ready. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Should I step back? Oh, no, it won't reach here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're up there on the other side of that hill. That is so funny, look. <laughs> My goodness. That is too funny. Oh, look at the dog oh, having a swim. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> there you go. That's farm life at its best yep. right there. I hear one, then they'll all come running to go for a swim. Is this swim. where you have the goldfish? No, the goldfish are down at the very oh, front. Yeah. yeah. She yeah, even has your... a goldfish <laughs> pond, people. <Yeah. laughs> so 
Well, they have quite a lot of color varieties, don't yes. they? Yes. That one over there yeah. is kind of just grayish. That is Maria. Maria's her name. <laughs> and then her mom, I think, is beside her. Her name is Spaz. <laughs> and then the other white girl, that's Kay. Here they come. They're gonna go swimming. <laughs> Do the alpacas ever get down in the water? They do, and it's really, really hot, and they haven't, <laughs> we usually have to get them before they start going in the water, because then we can't really do their, like, shear them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'll be soaked. So, pretty soon, the nights are still a little chilly to start shearing them yet. But. Yeah, and so what, you sell the, the wool? Um, we do. Mm -hmm. I would like to start to learn to clean it and spin mm -hmm. it all myself but you can do that in your spare time I, yeah all, spare time. <laughs> all your can. spare time Cassie <laughs> yeah I certainly can <laughs> so did you say you put her in at night or yes, does she just do. kind of go find her spot um, she usually goes in herself so once she goes in then we just lock her up because who knows what she'd get into in the middle of the night. Because it's really true what they say, that they like to eat anything. They, they will eat anything at all. What's the craziest thing you can ever remember or go eating? She, she ate paper. <laughs> like, just paper. She would find a piece of paper and, and eat that. I haven't seen her with any cans yet. <laughs> so I haven't heard her make her noise yet. No. Is she not usually very vocal? Not usually, no. No. There you go. We gave you a little tour. A quick, real quick tour of, what was it again? Mossy, Mossy Maples Farms. Maple. Mossy Maple Farms. Mossy Maples Farms. So we have Mossy Maple and Creekside Maple. Yes. There you go, folks. So thanks for joining us. Thanks. <laughs> That's awesome. Hmm? Probably, I wouldn't mind having a couple more goats. No. They are mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, the kids would probably like to see babies be born. Uh, yeah. yeah. John Deere was a porter. Yes. And I believe calf was, yeah, calf was yeah. a Yeah. Oh, there's a goat kiss. <laughs> Perfect shot. <laughs> okay. So, hey, everybody, we got a pile of lumber. We got boards. We got studs. We got slab wood that we can burn in the evaporator. We've got live edge stuff that we can make some shelving out of. All kinds of good stuff here. We want to say thank you to. Hold it, hold it. Let me see. Oh, yep. That's why we tighten this down. Thank you to Steve <laughs> and Gassy. Appreciate them allowing us to be out here on their property, on their homestead, where they have all kinds of good things going on. And so we want to let them know we appreciate it. So don't forget, subscribe, like, hit the share, and hit that thumbnail, watch another video, because we're done here. We'll see you right back here at Creekside on the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.